to the inside of the Audi R8 rear wheel steer. I've now been driving this car for, I've had it for a couple of days. I uh, picked it up in London and spent a couple of days driving around London and then I've headed up here to Norfolk. I thought I'd break it down a little bit into how it's been in my experience. So in London, I basically used it driving around Central. I had some sort of jobs and stuff to do, but I took this awesome car around and it was very easy. Everything was so easy. The gearbox is just, you can just put it in drive, put the drive select mode in comfort and just cruise around. You've got parking sensors, you've got rear, rear view camera, all the things, good sound system that make using a car in the city really nice. And it was just a, it was just a very quiet, pleasant, pleasant thing to drive around. And then contrast that with when you come to the countryside and i have talk about this drive select again, you can basically have the engine, everything in a few different modes. So the steering has a comfort setting, the engine drive, like the drivetrain has a comfort setting. And when you put it in the, flip it to the dynamic, the steering weights up a little bit, the engine and the gear shifts are much more aggressive. The, the noise from the engine, you can, it's, it's a lot louder and it transforms the car from this sort of like Frankenstein type thing from calm, chilled out, relaxing, which is great when you're at the end of a track day, you would just wanna drive home and you just wanna like chill out or you, your residents nearby, you don't wanna annoy them. So you just put it in comfort and it's comfort. But with like a couple of presses of the button, pull a couple of paddles and then you hear that awesome engine. The engine in this car dominates the experience, I would say. Let's put it back in comfort, you can probably hear me a little bit better. 510 horsepower, naturally aspirated V10. It sounds so good. I think when you're looking at a bunch of other cars, the, the thing about this car that stands out is just the engine and the experience of that. This car is the rear wheel drive, which is which is definitely different. I got to spend quite a lot of time with a four wheel drive in January. And the rear wheel drive experience, I think you don't lose anything when you lose the front axle drive. It's, the car's a bit lighter. I appear to be in this car missing slightly some of the techie things that you get in the V10 Plus or just like slightly different stuff. You have down here in the V10 Plus you have a twizzle dial that does the traction control or it's, it's like traction control track settings and stuff. On this you don't have that, you just have the normal normal mode one click off which is like submerging control loose and then hold it down and everything's off. And whilst in the four wheel drive car you could mash it and you just go with everything off in this if you mash it with everything off it still grips on these Pirellis pretty well but you then can just like light up the rears which is which is quite fun and <laughs> that experience of being able to control the car with the rear adds another step to the driving experience um, the, the four wheel drive handles very well, but the rear wheel drive, I'm just, a, I think I'm a rear wheel drive person, just makes it a bit more interesting. And then every time you downshift, you can hear the valve open right now. place to be we've got this contrast blue stitching here now I don't know what the how the sort of options and how you could spec the car can vary I need to need to find out because this car has blue stitching here but like gray stitching here and I don't know why it's not the same all the way around but otherwise 
it's a very nice modern place to be the the screen in front of me does the full nav change to a whole bunch of different things and having the nav in front of you is really quite nice it means you're not looking down not looking up here the controls here everything's pretty simple you've just got all your basic aircon controls and then this the Audi MMI system here which is very good for navigating just it just works very well this in here we've got a couple of USB slots and stuff and because my, I have an iPhone X and you can charge it wirelessly I can just chuck my phone in this box here and it will start charging and it will also connect to some of the car systems I haven't set up the Audi connect system yet but if I check my phone down there it just starts charging and then if you turn off the car and open the door it tells you that you've left your phone in the car so maybe you want to go pick it up I thought that was quite neat when when you open the door you get these little Audi Sport logo lights that shine on the floor well, that was quite quite like a fun little feature I wouldn't say it was a selling point but just another little thing that was quite interesting when I was at the track asking around there was quite a lot of interest in the car there weren't many other sports cars around but because this was around and uh, we fired it up a lot of people were quite interested in it. they were kind of like oh what's that about the rear wheel drive how how is that different to the four wheel drive because Audi's just so known for its four wheel drive and I thought it, it, it got quite a lot of interest and then you fired it up and like gave it a few blips and it just makes this crazy sound and everyone's so like oh oh wow that that really sounds amazing and i think that's just it's just a standout point in this car the engine the engine is just awesome 